Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Christmas has just come to an end. There's two posts in particular that are circulating like wildfire. The first is that of Muhammad Salah with his family posing in front of a Christmas tree and another is that of boxer or UK boxer Amir Khan also posing in front of a Christmas tree. Naturally the people that are practicing are cheesed off. What the hell is this? A'udhu Billah. And you know what mashallah wishing the best and hoping the best for somebody is good. As a believer we are a mirror for another believer. But now comes the fundamental question. How do you go about advising them? Let me start off here. Yeah? Let me start off with the first question. Are you ready for the first question? For the cash prize of not getting slapped in your face. It's all well and good having knowledge, yeah? But having knowledge is not enough. You now need wisdom to be able to convey that knowledge. Shut it and answer the damn question, yeah? Okay, man. And if you don't have the wisdom, then frankly, your knowledge is gonna cause damage, mate. And if we look at this post of Amir Khan the boxer, you can see he's very cheesed off with the whole reaction of the people. Now in this video I'm not going to talk about permissibility and impermissibility, I'm going to leave that for the scholars yeah. Some of the comments as you guys can see are very blunt, very rude and just uh, not very helpful frankly. Now one thing that I want to get across guys is when people start practicing the religion or even call themselves Muslims they are on a journey. Yeah, it's like a racetrack. You have one person that's just started the race, another one that's halfway through the track, another one that's near the finish line. They are at different stages of their journey. Let me give you guys another analogy, yeah? Because I'm on fire, frankly, yeah? If, for example, somebody's been cooking for an hour and then you have a little taste of their curry, you're like, nice. Another guy, he's literally just started five minutes ago and then you check in the meat, you're like the meat is uncooked, the pan isn't even hot, you got raw vegetables, mate the guy's just started five minutes ago. But why are you judging him with the same standard as a professional chef that's been cooking for an hour? But why is it when it comes to the religion, anyone who calls themselves a Muslim gets painted with the same brush? They need to be implementing all of religion in one goal mate. Now that's not to excuse people yeah. Now if you are at whatever journey that you're on that's fine but don't publicize certain things that you are going through. Don't publicize your sins or don't publicize things that let's, let's face it you don't really have much knowledge on. And another thing I wanted to mention was when we're commenting on people's posts and their videos we're very blunt like that was rubbish. Yeah no you're, you're this and you're that. Would you speak to that person the same way if you were to see them? Then why is it that suddenly you can speak to them in this way? And remember whenever you are speaking to someone they don't necessarily or they may not necessarily remember what you said but they remember how you said it and how you made them feel when you said it. And I've noticed that as a trend amongst a lot of people that come back on religion and they always remember the person that brought them back and their softness and their understanding and appreciation. I'm not saying don't teach them the religion, do it but do it in a way that is beneficial. So hope you guys benefited, until next time Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs>